Today, I'm going to continue cutting the documentary directed by Teresa Palmer. From a law enforcement side, should I take every bad guy to jail? Maybe yes, maybe no. Remember in the last scene, Teresa was driving around with her producing partner, Kai. They were going along with this cop and he was kind enough to stop at this area, which is like some train tracks. And ultimately, they're going to come across this guy. I'm going to very quickly, very rough, cut a couple of shots that I really liked. Let me see what the shot is here, for example. So that could even be before that. Okay. Then we got something here. We got a needle shot. And disgusting trash. Needles everywhere. You can see there's, there's no regard. There's just tons oh, and tons God. of hypodermic needles sitting. Maybe I'll cut that in between. That's a great shot. So maybe instead of this shot, I'm gonna overcut all these. This was the needle shot here. Boom, needle. I'm gonna use the audio from this shot where he says, there's a needle here, there's no regard. Needles everywhere, you can see. There's, there's no regard, there's just tons oh, and tons God. of hypodermic needles sitting. Okay. So I'm going to play this long and in real time. I think that's going to be more effective. Like you see a person right there in the background, almost like a little ghost. What's happening here? He's pointing out something. As if he's seeing somebody there. So this is the GoPro camera right here. And then down here you have this shot. Like this looks actually really interesting. He points to it. And we can see a person right there. That's where we're going. I'm gonna bring this down. I have all these other shots here, but I don't really need them. Don't think I need this. It's definitely a great shot. I like playing this real time. The cop finds this guy, walks up to him and tells him, I'm with a camera crew, we just want to film you, is that okay? And the guy consents. So I think this is a good moment to keep as is. And right now it's very hard to hear. I mean, I can bring up the audio, boosted by 10 dB. Right, no, I'm not gonna shake your hand, I know your hand's bent. I'll give you a pound now. Yeah. All right. Okay, I think that's a good shot to play along. Let me show you what I got going on so far. Wow, this is just so Nothing but filth and disgusting trash. Needles everywhere, you can see. There's, there's no regard, there's just Tons and oh, tons of hypodermic needles sitting. That's an almost good cut. I might want to cut to this angle a little bit earlier. And here I maybe need a transition because he's like right there. So this one here, I'm going to roll back. I like how this is going through the trees. So let's see if this is a better cut. Love the ghost. Love that he looks at him. Okay, maybe we can shorten it a little. Like 
like here. Give it a little bit more room. The audio is a little rough. So I'm going to bring this mic from the Lumix camera in. And I'm going to start fading this one out. But it plays long and quiet right now. There could potentially be voiceover from Teresa that describes what's happening here, that they found this area. Or it could also just play like this with very little ambient sound or music. Minimalistic. Now I just need a moment of them crossing the tracks. That's really the transition. Possibly here. That's not bad. Suspense. I'll put that in here. I like the sound of the train in the background. So I'm going to extend the train. And I'll let it start here. And I need one more transitional shot here. So if I had a really beautiful shot of, of them crossing the tracks, that'd be great. I'm watching both camera angles here. I guess he's doing it there. I'm going to let this shot, I'm going to let him cross the tracks. I do need a cutaway. This feels like a jump cut. It's going to be on this angle. Maybe this. I don't need the audio. Like when she's pointing the camera. We can see her point the camera, boom. And before she looks away, I'm going to cut to the camera. So we see this. Make this not as loud. Let him leave the frame, like she gets distracted here, so that it doesn't look weird that he's already at the... That works pretty good. So now we arrived. I'm actually gonna stop the video here and post the second part on Patreon. You will be able to see it there for free, but I do wanna encourage you to consider supporting the channel and help make it eventually a sustainable project. So pop on over and hopefully I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for watching.